All right, so Teddy sent me a down the line video of this individual, and I was really curious to see what uh, what it looked like down the line. And uh, from the AI guides I mentioned earlier, uh, you're going to notice there's different AI guides this time. You got the spine angle, the head, um, the butt line, the hand line, and so these are things I would normally have to draw, but <laughs> with the AI guides, it's just a touch of a button. So the you know just the sheer speed of being able to produce this for my students is, is fantastic. Now, uh, again, this person, his footwork I mentioned earlier is great, and so you can even see how his butt line doesn't move off that back. I mean, that's really good. And you can see his spine angles maintained. That's just pure consistency right there, and his head stays in the pocket. That's just fantastic. Um, but let's go into some of the other AI guides here. Now, I would normally have to draw this. Typically, I would go through and get the shaft line here and hopefully it's matched up and try to make the similar line up there but with the AI guides one touch of a button it's pretty close and that's actually the AI is a lot more accurate than I am so uh, let me delete my lines get those out of the way and you want to see that the shaft is moving up parallel with the bottom line there it's doing a good job it's a little outside but it's all right and we want to see the left arm the lead arm get parallel to the top line which he is it's a little low um, but again, this is typical of the right eye dominant players. They they have a hard time getting around, and it's not a bad thing um, as long as they can get back into impact. And so let's let's do the Kona success for the downswing here. Let's see how this individual gets back down on the ball. It does get a little vertical here, but there's a lot of players that get vertical. Even Scotty Scheffler gets vertical as long as they get that shaft back down to the bottom line there and get it in line. And so he's in the pocket there, and he does a really good job squaring the face up right here. I mean, this is that is money. I mean, just you can see the face is starting to square up right there. Body is really getting him through that ball, and he's really hitting this with body. I mean, that's great. I like to see that the club head is square to the shoulders, and as the shoulders rotate through, and the club stays square to the shoulders, so that's just boom, money right there, right down the line, right down the pocket. And you can see coming up on the down, uh, the finish, you can see the shaft is coming up that Kona success line, and his arms going up that line. So this is probably a really good swing there, right down the middle there. Uh, this individual probably does hit it a little bit lower because the spine angle is more vertical than than some people would be. But listen, if, the, if you're going to have this kind of action, I would not change anything. That's that's just right down the pocket. Um, let's put some path lines to this here to kind of see what the club is doing. So you can see the club is a little bit outside, but he does a great job rerouting. Now, some people may say he's over the top, but I mean, if you look at where the club is going, it's under the line. It's It's on plane there. So that's really, really good. So he was able to bring that club back on plane and get through it. And so I, I'm, I wouldn't change anything at all. I mean, I, I would, <laughs> I don't want to break something that's not broken, right? So let's see, let's let's put the hand path on there. So it does loop around, but he does bring it back inside. And peak velocity is right there. Yeah, I mean, you can see the arms coming right back up. So there's a little bit of a loop, but I mean, if you look at the extreme like Matt Wolf or something, it's not bad at all. I take this, especially with the foot movement and the head movement. This is this is great. Um, but let's do a comparison. I'm going to bring in Scotty Shuffler again because I, I really love this guy's footwork and I can't stop comparing it. Um, so let me go ahead and zoom in on here. Kind of zoom in on Scotty as well. I'll kind of link the video so we can see the foot movement. So you're going to see the left toe coming up right up there. In the top individual, you can see his toes coming up right there prior to impact. And then look at their foot movements. They both slide to the back. Now let me let me stack them because it's a lot better to see it stacked here. All right. So it's it's really rare I get something this special. So let me let me really kind of show that. So I put both feet on the on them together here and I'll, I'll kind of go into impact. I mean, look at the foot movement. That's like incredible stuff there. And you can see their shoulders are both getting through impact. I did mention that the uh, Scotty is left eye dominant and the other individual is right eye dominant, but this shows that they know what they're doing through impact. So it's great. And, uh, but here, let's, let's show something else since we're on this here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit for both of them so we can get a better idea of the path. I'm going to start putting some path lines on this. Let me see if I can match them up as close as possible. And I'll put some path lines on here. Put one on Scotty as well. All right, so as we get into it, you can really see, well, let's see. 
you know, let me switch them over again. So you can see how Scotty's a little more on the inside. This individual's a little more on top. And so you may see some more straight pushes and more cuts with the individual that uh, Teddy sent me. Scotty's going to hit more of a draw, uh, draw type swing. Uh, so if I hide, let me hide the individual, you can see Scotty's swing and you can see Scotty's path as well as the individual's path overlaid on the top of each other. And if I switch the two, then you can see the other way around. So you can see Scotty's path is a, a little bit more vertical, a little bit more underneath. But again, I think that's also part of the eye dominance in terms of the backswing characteristics. Um, but both of them hit this ball straight. And also, uh, Scotty's is an iron. I'm sorry. So th there is going to be a more flat version with uh, the individual above because it's a driver. Uh, it won't be as vertical. But, you know, th th you can see how this can be a visually compelling kind of a storytelling element here. Especially when you come on to compare two swings together. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, you can even see uh, skeletons from here as well. And the con oh yeah, let me show you the contour on this side. So let me get this back to the top of the backswing here. I'm gonna add the contour. And we're gonna see whether or not uh, coming into impact they came out of the swing. So a lot of times what you'll see is the hips move forward. And this person has done a great job of not doing that. So let me hide the image here and I'll zoom in a little bit. And so you can see the, the yellow has not gone outside of the blue, and so a lot of times you're going to see amateurs where the yellow silhouette would actually go forward, um, almost you know end up somewhere over here. Uh, and that's, that's an indication of what they call early extension, and that's when you see some major slices and chunks and all sorts of weird things happening. But in this case, they, they've really rotated well within the pocket, and so that's, that's quite nice. But um, yeah, I mean, great swing.